Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two different like snack cake items. These are the Mrs. Freshly's Deluxe Hershey's S'mores Mini Muffins. And I have the Drake's uh, Boston Cream Yogurt. So these were both bought at Meyer. The um, muffins. muffins were $4.69. And the yodels were three forty nine, so big difference in price there. And I get you get ten in my in the yodels. You get five packs of four in this one, which is typical for many. So these muffins. are just gonna be mini muffins. They're just but mini they're muffins. Mrs. Freshly's. And they're supposed to be Hershey's. Are we gonna taste Hershey's? I don't know. Mrs. Freshly has something else with Hershey's, and I don't think we taste the Hershey's. Uh, because Hershey's is a very specific chocolate. chocolate. Um. And I brought a knife over here, and but we'll, is a very I'd say we'll flavor. just eat. Uh, we won't need to cut these in half because they're going to be small. Uh, it says Hershey S'mores Mini Muffins, S'mores inspired Mini Muffins made with real Hershey's chocolate. So we should be able to taste Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. Oh gosh. It's not awful. What happened? <laughs> oh, ah, what happened? Um, right, there's what you get. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Do you think? Uh, yeah, there's nothing natural about these. Uh, these are they distributed. They better when you get them out. Distributed by Flowers Foods Specialty Group in South Royal Atlanta Drive in Tucker, Georgia. Usually, I don't read the address. I didn't think that was coming. So I, I usually I skip over the address. They are on in Tucker, Georgia. One pouch is 180 calories. Okay, did you eat the whole I popped the whole thing in my mouth. You'll be sorry you did do. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste horrible, they taste really kind of funky. I, whatever they're using to, they're awful, aren't they? Uh, whatever they did to, to make that fake graham flavor, I think that's where they went wrong. I did you? Yeah. Gosh, it's terrible. It's awful. I mean, just, well, People saw me make a face when I started chewing on it. And oh, I did you? promptly made my face fake for you. <laughs> You're evil. I didn't want you to um, not eat a whole one. I will admit, <clears throat> I will admit the flavor right now is not that bad. It's better once it settles. Yeah. Yes. It's it, once it settles down, like right now, but all I taste is graham. Yeah. It has a graham flavor. But like you said, that's exactly the flavor that will catch you so off guard, awkward. and it's horrific. Um, first, it's very uh, like just odd, weird, like a flavor you shouldn't be eating. Yeah, I don't. Well, it doesn't smell like you should be. Eating. No, it stinks. It doesn't smell like food. It's it does <laughs> not smell like anything you should ever put in your mouth. And um, I would absolutely never buy that for my children or for anyone that I loved. I would never buy that for myself. Yeah, whatever artificial flavoring they're putting in there. Is just I think good. it's disgusting and you shouldn't buy that for anybody you care about. The aftertaste is okay though. Just, just, just know that it's not horrible. It does not taste like Hershey's. No. And, and, uh, Which you is know, saying something because Hershey's is not the best chocolate in the world anyway. Right. <laughs> I love that Hershey's makes Reese's. That's the best thing they make. That's but true. as far as a Hershey bar, it's not They're that okay. great. It's not that great. Once yeah. you've had other chocolate from other parts of the country, uh, around the world, then you will realize that Hershey's is not the greatest chocolate, and you probably won't buy it anymore. We don't. It's, it's um, an everyday chocolate. But that doesn't even taste like, I don't even get Hershey's no. out of that. No, it's, it's bad. I think Hershey's should immediately go and say, we're going to pull the, our name off this. <laughs> well, like I said, they've got another product that's got Hershey's on it too, so they must have a deal with them. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this from here. Yeah, there's like a little perforation. There's like a little dent right there, but I don't know where you're supposed to see it right here. It's like a little dent right there. Like you're supposed to flip open something, but I don't see where you're supposed to flip it open. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so we're just gonna do it this way. We're just gonna go. Okay, so, oh! oh. Okay. So they're like ho-hos. Yeah, they're a twin pack. You yeah. get two. This, okay. Isn't that how they sell ho-hos? I haven't bought ho-hos in forever, but when you buy in the packages, the boxes, I think they're single. But no. I, I don't know either. I think I think I haven't bought. Ho -Ho's. Are you talking about Little Debbie Swiss cake roll? No, ho ho's used to come in. Because aren't the Little Debbie Swiss cake roll in a twin pack just like that? I don't, I don't 
And these are by, made by Little Debbie McKee. I'm not an expert. These are these don't say Little Debbie, but it's Little Debbie. It's McKee. Yeah. Uh, they're in Collegeville, Tennessee. That's who's making these Drakes. Drakes Boston Cream. It says new. It does say Twin Rub. Now that smells good. It smells like a deep chocolate flavor. It smells like that uh, chocolate glazed donut kind of flavor. Frosted cream filled golden cakes. Let me cut one and see. Wow. Yeah, you don't know the colors. In 1896, oh, one Newman one. Drake opens the N.E. Drake Baking Company in Harlem, New York City in 1896. And then in 1928, Yankee Doodles the delicious Drake's cupcakes are introduced. I love that name, Yankee they Doodles. Have, they have funny names. Are they still called Yankee Doodles? I don't know, but I know we've tried some other things that were like Yankee Doodles. Funny names. Um, and then in 1939, they participated in the 1939 New York World's Fair. Um, in 1961, peanut butter funny bones start tickling the fancies of cake lovers, and it goes all the way through. Uh, that's cool. I love that. I won't read all that. Right but the, yeah. Okay. So, um, wonder how McKee uh, uh, Foods acquired them. No. No. It does not tell when did they move from New York, to Harlem to Tennessee. It does not tell that on the box. Uh, these uh, are a hundred, basically 140 calories per, per roll. roll. Okay. I think they're. Yeah, ring dings. We've had those. Devil dogs. Mm -hmm. We've had devil dogs. Mm -hmm. That was in 1926. I don't know about the Yank <clears throat> Yankee Doodles. I'm pretty sure. I love the name. Oh I, no, we haven't had those. But the ring dings, I'm pretty sure we've had. They have fruit pies too. Um, I think that's good. It does have that typical um, snack cake chocolate, that kind of waxy chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. um, Texture. Yeah, texture. Um, flavor too. It tastes like that kind of chocolate. Um, I don't really get Boston cream. The cream just seems like all the other creams in these cakes. It's just like <laughs> that white cream that you get in all of them. Um, yeah, it's a, there's nothing wrong with no, it. I would definitely wrong. eat them. Yep. Uh, there's no off-putting uh, smell, smell. Or flavor. Um, nothing weird, artificial thing. No, it just tastes like a... a a darker chocolate mm -hmm. um, snack cake. Okay. And it does have a nice texture difference between the inside, the cream, mm -hmm. and that outside shell. Yeah, the shell is kind of that waxy chocolate. Though. Yeah, I, like I think you can hold that outside in the heat for a little while and it's not gonna be mm -hmm. all over your fingers or anything like that. Those, they don't, it, to me it does not, I would never have guessed Boston cream. I would have just said, cream. yeah, it's a re it just tastes like a regular cream to me. Yeah, like a um, cream or whatever. Yeah, but I would, I do like that, yeah. and I would, I would happily buy that for a kid if they asked for it. Oh yeah, and, and I can't compare them to Ho Hos because it's been so long since I had a Ho Ho. Yeah, I can't even compare them to Swiss Cake Roll, which is made by Little Debbie. Yeah, because uh, it's been a while since we've Foods. Because we just haven't had them in a while, yeah. so I'm not going to try to compare them to anything. I can just say on their own, they're okay. Good. I yeah. mean, it's not like um, you're buying gourmet or anything. You're buying a, a, a snack cake. A snack cake, and it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, that is. It's, that just, one's definitely enjoyable to eat. This one's not. <laughs> yeah, but no, that, there's nothing fun or, or good about that at all. Um, I would just steer clear of that completely. Yeah, and if there's, you want mini muffins, get other brands. Yeah, yeah. There's um, there's uh, Intamins. There's Little Debbie. There's all kinds of mini muffins. I just uh, those I hate those. I think those yeah. are terrible. Yeah, and Mrs. Freshly has some decent stuff. It's just these aren't. Yeah, not those. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.